Hey, what's up everybody? It's me the Home Cook Hero back with a new video again for y'all and today I am making one of my favorites crispy crispy fried oysters with this spicy Cajun mayo y'all. If it looks good and you into it, sit back. Let's go. So y'all, first we're going to start off on the spicy Cajun mayo which you definitely want to make. <laughs> I am starting off with a couple tablespoons of mayo, this smothered Cajun sauce, which is like a tomato based kind of like southern sauce as they as they call it on the bottle. And after that, y'all, I'm going in with a few cracks of fresh black pepper. I am going in with my favorite hot sauce or one of them, I should say, the Old Bay hot sauce. Definitely use this one if you have it, because the more seafood flavor you can add throughout every part of the dish, the better. Then I'm going in with some fresh minced garlic, about two to three. I'm going in with a little bit of sugar to kind of like counteract all of these other spices and flavorings I'm going to add into there. I'm also going in with a little bit of fresh squeezed lemon, y'all, just for like some zip and to brighten it up, as well as some fresh parsley to also brighten it up. So those are all the ingredients. So now I'm just going to mix everything all up, making sure it's all combined, y'all. And I'm just going to set that to the side. And one little thing about this mayo, y'all, this mayo is so, so good. You can even use it on like sandwiches or in any other type of dish where you use mayo, even on like grilled cheese sandwiches. I promise you, it'll be so good. And it'll definitely, definitely elevate it. Even with that garlic in there, y'all, let me just stop talking about it. Definitely check it out. <laughs> so now for the oysters, I got this can of oysters. They're raw oysters. And first thing, I'm just going to like take a look at them and see if there's any like membrane in there there's like a, a little membrane in oysters that help it adhere to the shell and so i just want to make sure i go through all of the oysters and take the take the membrane out this, this is a step that even restaurants don't don't follow honestly i actually went to a seafood restaurant in virginia i think it's called what's it called hank's oyster bar in virginia and i could definitely taste some of that chewiness in the membrane still in there so definitely y'all uh, take that take that part out and sorry Hanks oyster bar sorry <laughs> all right so now that the oysters all done we're just going to start on the egg wash so I have just one single egg and I'm also going to add in a little bit of that Old Bay hot sauce because like I said you want to carry those seafood flavors throughout all components of the dish and I just want to make it spicy anyway so why not so y'all I'm just going to mix up that egg and then after that I'm just showing you my Louisiana fish fry that I'm using it's like the spicy Cajun one definitely try that one out if you love Louisiana fish fry it's really really good and it is spicy y'all so then y'all I'm just showing you my little process I'm going in with a couple of those oysters not too many uh because you don't want everything to get real clumpy especially in that batter so I well especially in the, the Louisiana fish fry part so yeah I'm just going in with about three or four in the egg wash and then I'm just gonna put it in the Louisiana fish fry mix and just mix it up a little bit and this is what it should look like that's how you know these oysters are going to be nice and crispy All right, y'all, so now that the oysters are all battered up and ready to go, I'm just gonna place them into my deep fryer that has been preheating for about 10 minutes to just till it got to about 370, 375 degrees. And I'm separating these oysters into two batches. So about mm, maybe like eight or so oysters per batch. And I only did about two batches, y'all. So def definitely don't overcrowd your, your fryer because it'll just make everything take longer. And then the oysters are gonna be too cooked on the inside and just, it's not it's not really going to be the consistency you want you want the oysters to still be nice and tender a little like liquidy you know you know a little something something on the inside and nice and crispy and still kind of tender on the outside as well so this is what they should look like after about five minutes or so in that hot grease y'all and by the way for the grease i just use some regular old canola oil you can use vegetable oil you can use peanut oil if you want to use whatever kind of oil you want to don't use olive oil it's just it's, it's not right for this but y'all should know that already <laughs> um yeah y'all i'm just going in with the second batch it's going to basically do the exact same thing i'm just showing y'all again because i think people love looking at food come out of hot grease i I'm, i don't know maybe maybe it's just me but i feel like you know i had to slow it down for y'all so y'all could get a you know i just you know go with me go with me anyway y'all those oysters were all done now. They're nice and fried up. And I'm just gonna plate them up with that spicy Cajun -y mayo, y'all, to go right along the side with them, y'all. These oysters are done. And they look so, so good. Nice and you can even see the crispiness through the through the screen. I know you wanna just pick one up and just bite into it. I know y'all do. I know y'all do. Because I'm about to do one right now so y'all can see what this stuff is looking like. But before we do that, I gotta put some parsley on the top. Y'all know how I do. Don't ask me why I do it. I just feel like I need to do it, okay? <laughs> but after that, y'all, look at this close up of these oysters with that spicy 
Cajun mayo. Y'all, this was so good, and I devoured these oysters. I promise y'all, this is not even all the oysters I cooked, y'all. I, I devoured them all up within like 15 minutes, y'all. I promise you, those oysters were done. But y'all, that is all I had for y'all today. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed this recipe. I love fried oysters, as you probably can tell by now. <laughs> but y'all, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Definitely subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one, y'all. It really means a lot to me if you hit that subscribe button, y'all. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. Later.